Hi, I'm Aaron Larson, the lead campaign designer here at Frost Giant, and today I'm going to be giving you an early look at the Stormgate in-game editor that we are using to develop the game. Here I am, playing Stormgate on Titan's Causeway, and uh, I want to make some changes to this map. To do that, I simply push F12. The game will take a quick moment, and it'll put me right in the editor. So first up, we're going to be starting in the Terrain tab and using the Click tool. Um, what I want to try to do here is see if I can make this area a little bit safer for the player to take. Of course, we don't want to make it too easy, so let's add a ramp in here as well. And um, one thing you'll notice here is I've got Symmetry turned on, so I can just go back to the other side and that's already done for me. There are a lot of different options for symmetry, including uh, rotational two-way, rotational four-way, symmetry. The symmetry tool doesn't just work with cliffs. Um, this can also work with just about every other tool we have here. So we'll start with a little bit of, of the sandy texture and put a little bit of dirt around it as well. So as I'm painting in, you'll notice that this is actually taking information from the height map that the texture uses. This way we can get natural looking transitions without too much effort. In order to really speed up our development time, we really wanted to use paintbrushes for as many things as possible. Things like uh, height manipulation, we can paint collision and even paint water. In addition to that, we also have tools for painting things like trees down. We can create forests like really quickly. Or even better, we can take the uh, light forest and replace some of these um, quite easily just using these paintbrush tools. And when it comes to decorating, we have a whole number of options for decorating maps. And one of the things that we did to help us find things quickly is create tags. So I can type in forest and that will give me um, not just things that are named forest, but things that go in our forest tile set. So we can add all number of things that belong in the um, forest tile set. Oh, and butterflies for the flowers, that'll be nice. Now let's go ahead and add some more functionality to this map. I have got this idea. I want to create a convoy that moves across the map and give the players a chance to intercept that convoy for a chance at winning some extra resources. In order to get this convoy working, we're going to use triggers. We use triggers um, to build our content. Um, this is very similar to how it worked in Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2, and we use this in order to speed up the map making process. But it also is a lot safer. You can just start plugging things in and it'll start working. Now I've got a couple triggers set up here, and I'm going to walk through them. First, we have a convoy spawn trigger. and we can use the events to tell the mission when these events should happen. So starting with map initialization, as well as every 120 seconds of mission time, where this whole event is going to fire. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a chicken, we're going to assign it to a variable, and then we're going to tell that chicken to move across the map to the other side. The other thing we're going to do is we have a convoy dies trigger we can pass that variable that we set up earlier into this event, and when that chicken dies, we can uh, create a reward. All right, here we are in game, and look at that. Our little chicken is moving across the map. Let's go ahead and test out to see if um, it'll drop some rewards. It did. Hooray, everything's working great. All right, so going into the data tab, we have a lot of places where we can put data different game effects like buffs, or buttons for abilities, or various um, game effects like creating unit, or doing damage, or healing, um, so on and so forth. Not only can you use any number of existing effects that we've already created, but you can also quickly and effectively create something completely custom. So let's go ahead and create a new unit with some new abilities. Let's give it the Weaver's Lash ability. And we also want to give it a button on the command card. And let's go ahead and make some updates to the Lash ability as well. Let's turn on Autocast. And we'll set the cooldown to 1. Alright, that should do it. Let's test it out. Alright, so our boss spawned here. 
Let's give him some bad guys to shoot. There you have it. That's the start of a new ability. There's a lot of ways to take it from here to really customize and make it exactly the way you want it to. Thanks for watching this early demonstration of the Stormgate in-game editor. These are work in progress tools that we're still building functionality for, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done in order to make this tool as user friendly and fast as possible. We can't wait to release the Stormgate in-game editor to the public and see what the world will create with these tools.